This week, my intention is to really focus on getting back into routine. Go on, girl. Be pee pee. If I show you, you have to promise not to laugh. I mean, I would want to take me on a date night. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Happy weekly vlog day. It's actually Tuesday for me. I know you guys love the weekly vlogs. So I'm back with another one. I think I'm gonna do them every other week just to give me some leeway on like filming other videos that I wanna film and stuff. But it is a Tuesday, it is 8.22 actually. Do not be fooled, I have not worked out this morning. It is snowing outside. Like there is a thick layer of snow everywhere. And to be fair, I was still gonna go. And then I remembered me and the girls said we would try a new run club tonight. So I was like, actually that's really lovely because I got up this week. I'm really trying to focus on some habits. So we'll get into that in two minutes, but I got up super early. I did my morning pages again. I'll explain in a minute. Had breakfast and I was like, oh yeah, we're you doing run club tonight. So it's currently like, it was like not even quarter past seven. I was like, what do I do? I was like, I'm just going to get ready and like start the day earlier. Like how nice I get time to like get ready and like be in my apartment in the morning and like not go and work out. Like I love doing that so much, but it's always such a nice treat when, treat when you get to like be inside and like be a bit cozier, especially when it's horrible outside. But why it's taken me an hour is because I did like a whole face of makeup. Like, oh, I'm really early. How cute. Let's like get cute for the day. And then remembered I'm getting my eyebrows laminated today. So I had to take it all back off because I was like, I'm gonna look like a crazy person walking around town afterwards because I've got stuff I need to do. Anyway, this week my intention is to really focus on getting back into routine and getting back into my habits. So I just wrote myself a couple. Now they're not like crazy brand new habits. They're just things I did pre-Christmas that I just haven't quite got into in the new year yet. One of them being 6 a.m. wake up every weekday, morning pages. So one of my goals this year is to complete the artist's way like once the whole way through. And that is a 12 week program thing to get your creativity back. And it's a book. Yeah, and it consists of 12 weeks, tasks every week, but the non-negotiable the whole way through is that you do these things called morning pages, which is three pages of like unconscious streams of writing first thing when you wake up. And it can be about anything. Like it really doesn't have to be creative or poems or like whatever. It can literally just be, she says you can write, I don't know what to write for three pages if you don't know what to write. So I have done that the last two days. My greens to drink my morning greens every morning, which I haven't done today actually yet. And then to hit all of my gym sessions is a habit this week that I want to take off and two liters of water. But I recently just got yesterday some Humantra electrolytes. I don't know if you've seen these all over socials, but I have, and you know me, I love an electrolyte. So I was like, hey, do you want to send me some electrolytes? And they did. So I think I'm going to change my two liters of water, which is still very much a goal to at least one of these every day, like having these in the morning as well. Anyway, we're starting it on a Tuesday because yesterday I did nothing but just edit, 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 edit at my laptop, nothing interesting to see. And I'm gonna do about an hour's work and then we're gonna go into town and I have some shopping I need to do for a dinner next week. I kind of want something cute to wear. I need some more hyaluronic acid and then we're gonna get my brows done. We're gonna have lunch, we're gonna work and then we're gonna go and get my nails done. What a day, like what a gorgeous little day. Can you Hello, um, thank you for that. Do we have a date? Um, also, sorry for the voice note. Um, I am gonna need to reorder my, what am I grateful for? What am I grateful for? What am I grateful for? Grateful for what? Turn down for what? <laughs> Oh, I'm, I know what I'm bloody grateful for. Magnesium tabs.
the fun part of the day has come to an end. But that's not true. There was a lot of fun things about to go down, but we are. My appointment's in 10 minutes, and we're literally here. Um, so shopping is done. So we're going to do brows, lunch, and some more work. And then do nails. And then it's home time. <laughs> it is very slippy snow. So I don't know if me and the girls will go for a run, but we'll see. Like I've nearly fell and got laughed at twice. That slippy. <laughs> so perfect. That one. It's my good brow. Let's go get lunch. I really want to prep, so let's go find a prep. This camera is without a doubt more zoomed in than it needs to be, but it's actually zoomed out to the max, so I don't understand what's going on there. Hello everybody, I've just got back from town to do my errands and for some reason my hairline is so orange, so need to, like, what the heck? Need to figure out what's going on there, can't believe I've been walking around looking like that. But these are the brows, obviously it's the first day so they always look a bit whoa, and then I just got myself a little, look at that, cutesy wootsy French tip. I don't think I've ever had French tips, so that's exciting. I need to drink the rest of this water because I've had no water other than my Humantra this morning. Do you know what we're gonna do with the last bit? Take our grins. Run Club is on tonight. City Centre, there's literally no snow, so I'm excited about that. Now my tummy hurts because I drank too much liquid. It is 20 to four. I need to leave here again at six. I'm just figuring out what I would like to eat in that space of time. I just booked onto these girls run as well for this week. So two run clubs, two 5K run clubs, even though I've got two 6Ks on the plan. Warm up from 6.30. Well, yeah, around quarter past five-ish, we'll eat dinner. I got some mics, some microphones, because the voiceover on my phone at the moment just isn't giving. So this is what I need to do now. I need to do a couple actually voiceover, oh shit. A couple voiceovers, but one especially because it's for an ad. I have no idea how you work things like this. So this is probably gonna take me a minute to figure out. The main thing on the list was some hyaluronic acid serum because my face has been lacking. I got a lot of basics from H&M, so it actually ended up being pricier than I thought. But I tried on the white t-shirt, as you've seen, and although see-through, yes, it's a white t-shirt, and it was the six pound basics, and I live in these. I got that one, I got it in black, which won't be see-through, so that's fine. And then they actually had this color, which was supposedly 5 dollars But like I said, I just live in these. Like I live in these just under hoodies and stuff. Like when I go out and I'm working from home and I know I'm gonna keep my hoodie on all day, like these are what I wear underneath. So, I mean, maybe a bit of a weird color. So I got that and then I just got, I didn't actually try this on, which was probably a bit of a mistake. But I got a white long sleeve one because I don't own a white long sleeve and I'm lacking. Like that's what I need the most. And then I obviously got the little denim shirt jacket thing that you've seen. And I am so obsessed with this. Like I am in love. So that's what I got from town other than my great brows and nails. So I'm gonna sit and figure out this mic because honestly I haven't got the, the scoobiest and then I'll be back to you probably when we're going to run club. I never run at this time. I'm either gonna be full of energy, got two long sleeves on, I'm gonna keep my gloves on. And my leggings are too small. So I kind of feel like I'm about to like be cut in half because I've also just eaten dinner. Like I'm actually really uncomfy. Go on, girl. Oh, so I'll say Megan shot PB. Oh. Ha! We PB! Oh, you need to airdrop me then, bits quick. Yes, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> PB! Which goes to show that um, I just don't <laughs> I just don't try hard enough. Ever. PB when I'm like chatting the whole way around. Like clearly I just yeah, need to go on like an actual. <laughs> I think, no, genuinely, we should go. And I need pace. to get, yeah, I need you I'll to pace. pace it. I reckon I, I no, reckon not could. could. I don't know, we'll see. But it was, I oh, know, because that was still 32 minutes. But that's still two minutes yeah, to shave you, off, I mean. Yeah, if we did it for park run. That's still like 30 the, seconds a K. Okay. <laughs> stuck with the pacer. Yeah, maybe. I've said it once and I'll say it again. 
Coming home is the best feeling in the world. <laughs> I ate half of my chocolate mousse yesterday, so I'm just quickly eating the other half. I need to drink a lot of water. Well, not a lot, but some. And I'm saying but because at the moment I'm having amazing sleep. All of you, every single one of you, do not take this lightly when I say, I'm looking into the camera lens. I never look at you. I look here, I look at me. You need to buy Pure Sport Ultra Magnesium. Sorry if I had chocolate mousse in my mouth. I'm not gonna lie guys, kind of like sleeping pills and they're not. Oh my God, I've not had sleep like it. Probably since, I was gonna say I was a newborn, but newborns don't sleep very well, do they? It's unbelievable. Last night I slept for eight and a half hours straight did not wake up once. Did not wake up once. To some of you that might be like, oh, of course you had a night's sleep. I wake up all the time. Um, did not wake up once, but I do keep waking up desperate for a wee because I'm trying to drink more water. <laughs> good day actually um i'm feeling rather awake although it is quarter to eight i did not wake up at six my alarm didn't go off and do you know how i know my alarm didn't go off because if it does it plays music and it doesn't stop until i tell it to shut up so if it did go off it would still be playing music but i got up at seven anyway so proud of myself because sometimes when things don't go right right and i realize i haven't woken up at six I just kind of self-sabotage and go back to bed until like 11. I'm happy with that. And to be honest, today was the best day for it to happen because I'm just in the flat editing and filming all day today. Did you know this is how you're supposed to water your plants? In a sink, full with water. So let's do one big one, one little one. I think this plant can't be saved. I think she's in a bad way. Okay, it is 9-11, two hours later than usual, but we are off to the gym. Finally, I just really wanted to come back to like a clean apartment. So that is what I've done and it is all tidy and clean. So we can come back, shower, wash our hair, fake tan and sit and film and edit all day. Like what a glorious day. So let's go get the gym out of the way first. I would bring you, but I don't know if you guys enjoy that. Let me know down below. If I show you, you have to promise not to laugh. It is the moment. No. You can always come to me for real influence. It is the moment I've been waiting the last, like, look at this, like three days for. I hope you can really see. It is absolutely vile to touch. It is actually getting itchy. When I fucking work out and run five days a week, like when do you want me to wash my hair? Especially when I'm not doing anything in the day, like I'm not going out for dinner, I'm not doing anything. So like, like I was supposed to wash it yesterday after my run, but then I didn't run in the morning. And I was like, well, I don't want to wash it to go on a run and work out when I've got date night. Tell me I don't look a hundred times better already. <laughs> I feel like everything is better when your hair is fresh. This podcast I listen to goes without saying, best podcast in the world, by the way. I tell everyone I know to listen to it and then get really angry when they don't listen to me and listen to it. But um, they're always like, are you having a bad day? Are you, do you have low self-confidence or is your hair just greasy? And most of the time they are right. Your hair is just greasy. I feel like the eyebrows look better now that my hair is fresh and down and my skin feels better after giving it a good wash. Finally having some hyaluronic acid back. Like I'm feeling good. I'm just gonna have a little pit stop. We've got my electrolytes, a coffee. It is like 11, I haven't even had a coffee yet and just a little mid-morning snack. I'm really hungry for some reason. And then I think I will tan and get going. I'm just gonna do one layer of like an express and wash it off quite quickly because I do want a bit of something something because I'm feeling flat and dull and pale. But I've got my inky list dinner on Monday, which I obviously want nice tan for and five days doesn't give you a lot of time to like scrub and reapply. So I'm hoping if I just have one little light layer, it will scrub off easy and hopefully won't go that like horrible and I can just like redo it maybe on Sunday evening. Wow guys, I've been doing all the podcasting. Just filmed two podcasts. I did actually go on a 
walk break with Tia, which is annoying because I forgot to bring you, but it wasn't actually supposed to be a walk break. We were just like quickly not nipping to the post office and then we went on a nice little, it wasn't long, 20 minute, half an hour walk in the sunshine because some nice crisp winter sun came out. It was actually quite warm sun as well, to be fair. I want to get ready. I want to be like ready to go out when Carter gets here. So within the next hour, I need to like clean the flat and be facially ready for date night. <laughs> Guys, can't lie. I'm looking pretty good. I mean, I would want to take me on a date night. Um, I need to now do a bit of research because I said, yeah, I'll find somewhere that's cute and 50% off. I don't know anywhere, but I've got my new little jacket on. Let me put on the tripod quick. I've got my new little jacket on. Like, I've just styled it like this. I've not worn these parachute pants in so long. And actually they don't look great because they definitely need a little steam, but they're the type of trousers that get so creased like immediately anyway. Um, I love the big silver buttons on this. So I've gone like big silver. I need to do a lip. That is all. And then I've got just like a white, um, a what? A red, just Primark long sleeve on just for a little bit of color. I get a lot of questions on these earrings because I think these earrings are great. I'm definitely, I don't really suit a hoop like a big circle hoop. I think it's because, it's because my face is rather circular. So I like a drop that's like long. These are ASOS. We also get a lot of questions on this. This is ASOS and this is um, AMP, is it? I got this ages ago. I actually got this on Mina Carter's first little holiday in Rome. But this is the fit. Carter is literally seconds away. So we need to figure out where we're gonna go and eat. It's very big and silver. So I feel like that will be cute. A few of you always like kind of message me and say, I'm coming on Manchester date night, any suggestions? And I never really answer you because I don't know. I go on pages like this, I'll put it on screen, eat Manchester MCR, and they always just have good. See, look what their pinned posters at the moment is best Manchester January din dining deals. Hello? Why do you keep coming in that way? All right, come in now. Hi. He keeps sneaking through the car park and then you get stuck if no one lets you in through the second door. <laughs> Morning! I forgot to bring you on date night, but out of 10? Well, we discussed it and we said six, but that seems really, that really That seems really harsh. rude, doesn't it? Yeah, really, six really out of 10? Because it isn't a six out of 10. I had a fantastic time. But I, I said 10 is like... Wow. I said 10 is like what Carter thinks about another hard to feed for brunch. Like every time Carter comes, he's like, can we go to the hard to feed? Oh, fantastic. We've not been in ages. We've not been for brunch in ages. No, we haven't. But it was, we went to, I don't even know what it's called. El, what El was it? Gato Nero. It was, it was, it was fine. Like it was nice. I think if it was any more, it would have been a bit like of a sting. But for what we paid, it was okay. But we did both have two absolutely humongous glasses of wine. We had a nice time. Um, sorry, I didn't really bring you, but we are about to go on a nice walk to Media City. It is half eight. Um, we were going to go to the gym before, but after I did my pages, it was like 8 a.m. and we needed to eat. And I was like, we don't have time to do that. So we're going to go to the gym after. And we're actually going to go to a new gym. We're going to go to um nrg or energy i don't know how you're supposed to actually say it i don't know what they go by but it's new me and i've been wanting to try it for ages and i actually recently bought a membership so i'm gonna bring carter to try it for the first time with me why do i look like i've not slept in six years <laughs> look at that absolutely god that is lovely it instantly changes the temperature because it is was quite cold on the face um, actually, I think there's a new coffee shop here as well, but all of this looks like it's very much closed right now. We are back from our walk. Carter is just at a haircut. It'll probably be only like another half an hour. So I'm going to do a little bit of worky poos, edit them podcast I filmed yesterday. Come and try a brand new gym with me. I find this one of the most anxiety filled things you can possibly do. So I've roped in my boyfriend and for some great reason think bringing a tripod and a mic is going to make this a lot easier but I'm going to show you that new gyms are not that scary so let's do this We've secured the rack in the corner to warm up and to buy out the gym
gonna go and try and find the toilets. <laughs> Let's go. Success. It's so nice. Can't lie guys, that didn't go that well. Did I nearly cry at one point? <laughs> yes. Um, I couldn't find anything like the right the right height to hip thrust on. And then I lost Carter and then I felt really overwhelmed. Um, but actually the gym wasn't as good as it looks like online and everything anyway. So probably won't go back, which isn't what I wanted to say, but it's true. We are back from the gym. We went to Aldi to get some food, for dinner. I think I'm gonna make dinner and watch the last Lord of the Rings. Where's my Who is she? I'm actually excited. I said to you a few weeks ago that I wanted to watch it. No, I know, but I just like to hear that you do. And we do have a little delivery from Piglet's Pantry. They were like, do you want some Valentine's Day date night stuff? And I said, yes, please. We've got, that's a lot. We've got some, I'm probably gonna have to gift reception some again. They are so cute. We've got some pink Valentine's Day macaroons. Look at them. Oh my God, that's so cute. And we've got, oh my God. Oh, Carter, look. They're like um, red and pink velvet cupcakes. I'll have to show you guys up close in a minute. We've got a little afternoon tea box. Okay, this has carrot cake, raspberry lychee rose loaf cake, red lip red velvet loaf cake, scotch egg, sausage roll, sausage roll, and smoked salmon and spinach omelette. And scones. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you very much. Oh, and two little tea bags. Did my last one have that? And should we open the mystery parcel? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yep. Oh my god, why have they done this again? <laughs> I was just thinking this morning I need to stop wearing this so often because I'm just gonna run out. They're mental. They are absolutely crazy. We've got some more perfumes from Rodan. They've sent me everything they sent me last time again. Oh. Oh, do you have any perfumes? Sorry, sorry guys, not to flex. Do you have any perfumes? I have at the moment. <laughs> and I gave some of these away to my brother's girlfriend because I was like, I'm just not gonna get through these all. Please, please take some perfume. And then there's one less interesting box. I say less interesting, this is actually the one that I went to the parcel room for. This is the one that I wanted to pick up. We've got the best protein powder in the world, my protein vanilla, isolate, um, code make sure, gets you 10% off. Why have I not been using your code? Did you know that? Why, Why have you not been using my code? I've just been buying it. Shut up! Yeah, I've never used... Tell me you've been using someone's code. No, I just... Everyone in the world has a my protein code. Well, I don't. Girlies, look at this. Carter. Is that oh. me or not? Cute little white top. Nice. From what brand? Look. Oh, nice back. It's my protein. Okay. Isn't that cute? It is really cute. Um, I'm going to try this on and show you in a minute in the vlog because... Guys, it's everything I could have hoped for. And more. 
how cute is this? It fits like my other white tank, if I do say so myself. The rather expensive one. Look how cute that is. On a little back day, even though I don't really have any muscles to to pop Why are you out. Saying that? Well, because I don't. Yeah, you do. <sighs> I can see a four. Four? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You lying, aren't you? No, I'm not. Anyway, I thought I would um, show you this because although when this goes live, no, it didn't look like it was selling out quick. It's like £25, I think. And <laughs> code make sure gets you, I think, 10% off. So, so cute. Look at this for a semi good time, anyway. <laughs> We've got our scones, microwave aid. And the last Lord of the Rings. And I'm excited because then it means we get to move on to The Hobbit. <laughs> and I just have this weird feeling I'm going to really enjoy The Hobbit. We're halfway through Lord of the Rings. We've got dinner. What are your thoughts on Lord of the Rings so far? <sighs> this one's it's not. It's good. But it's really, really long. Like, we're two hours in. And, like, we're literally halfway. So that's a bit sad, but it's okay. Where's the cheese? Where did I put the cheese? <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. It is Friday. <laughs> the sun is shining again. Is it warm? No. Is the sun shining? Absolutely. I'm actually feeling good now that I've like spoke. That's the first time I spoke. Oh no, it's not the first time I spoke today. What a bloody liar. I've been Snapchatting tea all morning and she's going to join me on a little walk to Media City and some little laptop work favorite thing to do although I did have kind of a coffee this morning although I'm gonna leave the rest of that now I think because I've just brushed my teeth maybe I won't basically I'm gonna have to get like a tea or something because I just really wanted to sit and have a coffee with my porridge um so I did that it was a rest day today and I was really excited to like wake up at six and have like a really good few hours of just like not having to do much chilling resting kind of wanted to go to the gym and have a little stretchy because guys the my gym session yesterday was so good Oh, can't just text me morning girlfriend, miss you. <laughs> yeah, so actually I'm not as tight as I thought I was gonna be, but a stretch wouldn't have gone amiss. But guys, my alarm didn't go off again. I think there's something wrong with my Google because I even like reset my whole alarm thing um, and it still didn't go off. So I woke up at like 7.45, I woke up at like nearly eight. So it just means for the two hours that I wanted to like chill, I slept, so I slept for 10 hours again. I did my pages. Got myself ready, had breakfast, and now I'm off, yeah, to go and work with Tia in, like, literally five minutes. We've said 10 o'clock, and it's 10 too. Also, I think I might go with her to see Aaron, Aaron? Okay, can buy everyone's name. Anna and Byron and Callum tonight. Anyway, just packing my tote bag, my Women of YouTube bag, and gonna go Zs. <laughs> I was literally thinking the other day, like, I can't wait to get paid again. I was like, you got paid literally nine days ago. <laughs> Um, we're, we're out. I mean, we've been out for a while. Oh, <laughs> mystery man. <laughs> Got my friend. Um, yeah, we've actually been out for like two hours. Sipping away. That's, I suppose that's all really. <laughs> I need to actually tell you all, and you too, I guess, about um, this app Carter downloaded. It's called One Sec. One Sec. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. So, oh, I, actually, I actually think it's like genius. So it's an app that like you have to then connect it to like the shortcuts on your phone. But so every time you open Instagram or like any chosen app, it makes you like breathe. It, it, the whole screen goes, I'm breathing. And, breathe out. and then it goes, would you still like to go on Instagram? And like, what? He, it, I, he uses it for the wrong purpose. It's like, fuck, it takes too long to go for that. I'm like, well, the point is, I think you're supposed to like, take a deep breath for yeah. the day. He's like, no, it just takes too long, so I don't bother. Isn't that really wonderful? I thought it was a great barrier between like, just mindless to scroll in. You know when sometimes you click on it, you don't realise you've clicked on it. I do it all Like, my thumb just goes back. And then you realise you've spent an hour to scroll in. That's what like, I mean, it's it just makes you take a breath. And it's like, you still want to go on? And you're like, yeah, I do actually, thanks, but thanks, thanks for the, you, you, thanks for the deep breath. It. Yeah. And then I'm like, I didn't even realise I'd clicked actually. Yeah, it's cute. You don't seem like excited. I thought it was. No, I think it's really cute, but I just know that if I do like, have like, a work and day, 
and you... Well, yeah, I was like, no, I couldn't do this every time. Like, it would really tickle me. I was yeah. trying to get something done, it was like, really, but like, send I can't me, Send me your insights, I just need to get yeah. on Instagram a bit. I'm not going to scroll, like, I just yeah. need to get on Instagram. I promise, I'll... Look at that on the face. <laughs> I completely forgot I was vlogging. My camera was away in my bag that I took off a seat to the cafe to work and I forgot I was vlogging. It's now 10 to five and I think T is meeting Anna and that. If she does go, I think I'm gonna join her for a little bit. I've got these girls run tomorrow so I don't wanna be out like late and I don't think I'll drink, which is a bit quote unquote boring, but <laughs> I don't think T is drinking either, so. When my washing machine does a spin, it's so loud. It's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday. Mm. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, 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 only thing is guys, I don't really have clothes that like, you would wear out in an evening. <laughs> I just don't do it enough. <laughs> I just, like when I got rid of all my clothes months and months ago, I just never bought anything that was like evening appropriate because I just don't bloody do it. Especially, the thing is, especially winter evening appropriate. You know, I've got cute little summer bar outfits, beer garden outfits. What on earth do you want me to wear? to a bar in January. Just made a super simple, quick orzo chicken pasta thing with some spinach. We're gonna leave in about an hour and apparently we're not getting food. Just put the traitors on. Like it's just drinky poos. So I'm just making some quick dinner and then I'll get ready. Okay, I am ready. I might go and have one little drink. It's Friday at the end of the day. Um, so I might have I have like one or two Proseccos. Um, at the end of the day, I'm just doing TGR tomorrow, so like a little 5K. I've put on, basically, no, it is the same outfit that I had on in this vlog. Guys, be an outfit repeater. It's fucking cool. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. It is Lizzie McGuire, isn't it? But let me show you what I've done. Tia is nearly ready, I think. It's like half seven-ish. I feel like we can't really turn up empty-handed. My parents have taught me one thing in this life is do not turn up somewhere empty handed. And I think that's a great trait to have. Um, I've got on the jacket again, but I have actually put on a little silver top. Now this is just in case one place is really warm. Like I don't intend on really taking it off. Don't know why I'm just showing you up here because you can't sif. Fuck all. I've put on the parachute pants again, although I have um, steamed them so they look far better. And I've actually bought my little silver pointies because it's Friday. And again, with the silver buckles, I've gone the same, which way should I point this? It's because it's a mirror, it doesn't really care. Um, gone for the same big kind of silver jewelry. Just had a nice little phone call with my brother as well. I'm gonna see him next week, the brother that lives in Boston. So I'm excited to see him. He's in London for work next week. So I am gonna pop down and see him because I'm actually going home next week, which will be nice for like two days to see the girls. And I've got a funeral on Friday, which is sad, but that's in London. So I'm gonna go down home and then obviously I have to change in London so in my during my change I'm gonna see Chris and then yeah go home for two days and then come back and go to the funeral and then come back to Manchester but I'm excited to go out um I couldn't tell you the last time I went out like and had a drink or like went out to town on a week weekend evening the magic tricks have <laughs> been taken a little bit further <laughs> We've got all I'm the <laughs> You need one more. Good morning. I was about to start making breakfast and then I was like, you need to do your pages. I've actually got a bit of a headache. Not like hungover, I literally was, had two drinks. And to be honest, I didn't even drink my second one. It got spilled everywhere. I got a glass of Prosecco at Terrace and they put it in like a little cocktail glass. And I honestly think I had about four sips of that Prosecco. Got myself some electrolytes though. I think it's just because I didn't obviously have like a great night's sleep. Because I think we got back at about one. By the time I like took my makeup and stuff, I got, take, took my makeup off, got in bed, actually got to sleep. I probably only had about six, seven hours of sleep. Which I'm aware is <laughs> some people a very normal amount of sleep, but we all know it's the hours before 12 that matter the most and that actually do the most. And that's where your body does the recovering. 
So, technically, I've had no sleep. I'm not being funny, but name me something better than post-exercise, fresh hair, PJs on, on a weekend. I'll name you something better. I'm about to fucking whip up a gorgeous little brunch. I got myself some tomatoes. I obviously got some eggs. I think I've actually got two eggs, but I couldn't remember. And then I got a nice little seeded bun, like a mini bit of bread basically, because I do not need a whole loaf because I go home on Tuesday. Um, and I like doing this anyway, because I don't eat bread that often, but like I want a nice bread for brunch. So I always just buy like a one-off nice one from the bakery. Um, some veggie sausages. I've got some avo. I'm gonna make a coffee because I didn't actually like my coffee at loaf at all. It was disgusting. I think it was the oat milk. It was really sweet and I'm not a sweet coffee gal these days. I've matured. So I'm gonna whip this up and I really can't wait. Like I feel incredible now. Like there's actually nothing like coming back from like a run club especially. Like I've seen the girls, I've socialized, which is the best part of it. It's not like, oh, just a 5K. Like I spent my morning seeing friends. I've got out of the house. It's now like one o'clock. It's very much midday. I'm showered, I'm fresh, PJs are on. And I do not plan really on leaving this apartment again which sometimes we all know I hate, but like on these occasions, it's so nice because I've got out, I've socialized and now it's just like, oh, a Saturday brunch, a nice little watch of TV, a nice little reset and an early bed. <laughs> Call me a grandma, don't give a fuck. Not recently, I think I'm switching sides. Is that a problem? Well, a little bit, we're dating right on a date right now. So, all right, I'm off, but we're shagging after this. And you're saying- Oh my God, that bread is insane and the avocado is really good can't lie smashed it there's one thing i'm good at it's making good avo guys it's 5 p.m i have not moved it's actually 10 past i was supposed to clean and reset this whole flat but to be honest the week's wiped me out <laughs> i was supposed to get reading like get right and doing my like artist way tasks and stuff for the week and sat here for like three hours, watched two episodes of The Traitors, I'm on to Dragon's Den, and to be honest, I'm having an absolutely fabulous time. I don't ever do this, like it's so nice to just sit here on a Saturday and do nothing. I was so knackered. It has been a couple hours, I'm just gonna hang out, my washing, and then I'm getting into bed. Guys, it's 8 p.m. I spend my like evenings alone now and this happened did this happened during this week or was it like last week? I forgot I put towels in. I probably should have took these out. I mean I probably should have put these on the dry instead of just like spinning them because they're gonna be wet tomorrow morning still. Yeah, recently like any evenings I've spent alone, if I'm not watching anything, don't get me wrong, when I was watching Fool Me Once, you couldn't get me to bed. You could not get this girl to go to sleep. Um, for like a day though, because I'm the type of person like, I don't know, I just can't, can't chill out. I can't be casual. Like, I start watching something, I'll finish it within a day if I like it. But that's why I can't watch something like Grey's Anatomy or bloody Game of Thrones because it's just too much. It's too much commitment. I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, I don't care about TV that much. Like I'm just not really a TV gal. Give me like a Fool Me Once, eight episodes, nice and gripping. Downside is I will, I will watch it in one day. Like when I finally watched the act, Gypsy Rhodes, Blanchford. Me and my, cause my mum and dad are serial series watchers. Like they're bad for it. They were like, just sit and watch TV until like 4 a.m. Like they're proper teenagers when it comes to TV. Um, and I started watching it with them, like obviously this was years ago. And we watched like six hours in one night. Like I think we were up until like 2 or 3 a.m. watching it, which I feel like is funny with your parents, but that's just what I'm like. So when I'm not doing something like that, and I just feel like there's nothing on YouTube these days anymore. Like I'm a YouTube watcher. So once I've watched like the one new video there is, I'm kind of like, well, what else do you want to do now? And obviously I have been sat down all day. <laughs> but I'm going to take my magnesium, pour a tea. Don't know what tea to have. I might have sleepy tea, not my chai tea. And I'm going to get a bed and do my artist way tasks that I was talking to you guys about. These are the sleepy teas that I love. Twinings Sleep 
spiced apple, vanilla and chamomile with passion flowers. Passion flowers used to give me absolutely wild dreams. Now it's not too bad. Um, and because I switched between this and chai, I feel like I don't really notice. But one of the first few times I had this, I was like, well, I'm dreaming crazy, but I tend to dream quite crazy anyway. I think I might leave this vlog here. I really feel like I'm done much, but it's so funny because I've been watching some vlogs that I don't normally watch, like Sydney's, and I watched um, Mia Lauren, is her name? Um, Holly's friend, because it just came up, like things just come on cue, vlogs, weekly vlogs, because they're all I watch. And those two came on. And it's so funny them being like, this has been shit. Like, I don't even know why I'm uploading it. And I'm like, I've loved every second of this. So I hope you guys feel that way about mine. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I'm literally going to get up tomorrow and take myself on hopefully a nice long walk. I say hopefully nice and hopefully long because I think it is meant to rain. But I would love to wake up, go on like an hour's walk, get a coffee and kind of start my Sunday nice and fresh. Like I said, it is literally 8.05. So I'll probably be asleep by half nine and hopefully wake up at like eight or nine, 12 hours sleep, feeling nice and rested. No alarm is gonna get set, but I'm gonna, yeah, hope, hopefully get to bed a bit sooner so that I, I'm not waking up super late because I do wanna like clean this whole flat tomorrow, go on a walk, like yada, yada, yada. Have a proper Sunday, you know? So I will see you on Monday with a February reset. I'm gonna do a reset every month because you guys have really enjoyed like the reset and decluttering clean videos that I've done recently so i'm gonna make them a monthly thing throughout the year i feel like that could be really fun like every three weeks we just do like a big clean organized declutter kind of check in on our goals and i think every month i'm gonna try and like have a bit of a different theme that is what will be live next week so i hope you're excited and i hopefully will see you there hope you're having or hope you're about to have a great week it's monday